Got to be kidding me. It's a beautiful village. You know I've always wanted to live in the Dales. Well, Mark has been somewhat in denial that Ryan is his son. I mean, not to the point of like insisting on DNA test, but um, he certainly has. He's a, a, a appalled that he now lives in the same village with this young man. What's happened uh, for Mark immediately prior to the incident? He's he's uh, been left in charge of the shop, while. Uh, Natasha regroups and decides if she even wants to go on with our marriage. So she's off in Brazil with our wayward daughter. Well, I'm, I'm in the post office at the time that I hear this god almighty sound. Having realized that something has gone down at the end of the road, he, he obviously books it out of there and comes down to find his worst nightmare. What's about to go down behind me is the, the, uh, the start of the whole stunt sequence involving the runaway truck. A van, I should say. No, Nathan! I am not happy! You've already made me the laughing stock of the village and now I've only begun an hour and you're checking up on me. The person who's going to cop the blame for this is not Rodney Blackstock, the driver of the said vehicle, but young Aaron. All right? No. It's a series of misunderstandings, this whole episode. In a bizarre way, it's a, it's a coming together of energies. Kane, ironically, of all people, is also very much involved in the rescue of Ryan. So Kane and Mark are forced to work together on the same team. Faye, of course, is, is forcing this coming together of these souls. And uh, this incident is really the crystallization of it. It's, it's really the big icebreaker in the relationship. It's, it's going to create a bond between father and son that's going to be pretty um, unbreakable. Footlatch! Ryan! Ryan, can you hear me? What? So the, the, the writers have been cle very clever. They've structured these different uh, intersecting, or colliding of, of personalities, actually warring personalities on the show, who are all forced to, to come together to, to do something you know, for the greater good for once, instead of their own selfish selves. Just get the tractor! Can stop right now! What, what if it all comes down? Somebody could be dead before then. Get out of here, quick. Uh, hurry, hurry. 